Hey, greetings. I'm back again. This is uh, turning into the service call from hell for sure. So, some of you may recognize this room. So here's what's going on. Oh, we're back at water heater number two. So I came out yesterday because uh, the owner said there's a 7 flash or a code 7, which is what it's doing right now. And this is a brand new valve. This is brand new from Ream. It's only been installed for a couple of weeks. So I came out yesterday. I put a sediment trap on and I put a larger um, supply line on to try and give the valve more gas, hoping that might take care of it. But it didn't work, so we're on our third valve. Um, not new valves, I was putting in, uh, it had the original valve, then I put in a used valve, that came back code 7. In the meantime, we had contacted Ream, and Ream sent us a new valve, so we put the new valve on, thinking we knocked out the problem, and uh, the problem still exists, so. It's a uh, 2019, so it's under warranty, so the owner's going to rip it out and replace it, but he needs a few days because it's in a Airbnb rental currently. So in the meantime, he asked me to come out and put yet another valve in. So that's what I'm doing today. So yeah, I've been here quite a few times for this water heater. And uh, it's getting kind of old for sure, but we're not entirely sure. I'm going to put a valve in from a uh, AO Smith. I know that our... Uh, Bradford White, I know this valve is working for sure. And I uh, hope that we can buy a few days until we can replace this water heater so we can get the, um, the Airbnb customer some hot water. So that's what we're doing today. Turn the gas off. I did a service call. I did a bunch of service calls yesterday. This was one of them doing the sediment trap and the supply line. But I did a the service call at the end of the day where I was actually working at a taco shop. I didn't get any video of it because it was late and I was just kind of in a hurry. But they had a leaking um, supply line for a water heater. It was just squirting all over the place. So it was flooding the water heater out and obviously it needed to be fixed. So while people were ordering their food, the water heater was right there. So cars would drive by and literally the, uh, the speaker and everything was inside the water heater shed. So I could hear everybody placing their orders. And um, I uh, sweated off the old supply line and um, soldered on an MIP and then uh, cleaned up the nipple and installed a new supply line it only took like a half an hour uh, like a quick hundred bucks and um, it was great because I was kind of hoping they'd throw me some free food you know at the end and sure enough 
when they were paying me out of the cash register, they're like, what do you want? And, uh, man, I had a burrito with the works on it. It was great. Well, that was kind of a fun service call. I've done a few in uh, restaurants before, but they don't always offer you food. So it was nice to get uh, nice to get some food from them. I was hungry, too. So. Yeah, I kind of wish I'd, I'd videoed that one, but uh, it was just one of those long days. It was at night. Um, the sun had gone down and it was just kind of sometimes it's just so much faster to do your work when you're not um, worrying about setting up a shot or narrating where the camera might be in relationship to the work you're doing like now for example so that was fun though in and out, quick money some good food I'll take those every day. Alright, so here's a replacement valve. Pop that in. Took it out of here. Uh, what do we do with this valve? I'll give this back to him. Like this. So when you're replacing these valves, everything just goes back in reverse. You basically shut the gas off and uh, disconnect the adapter, take the sediment trap out, disconnect the gas line, and you disconnect um, all these wires down here, right? So your main pilot, your main um, gas tube. Your pilot tube right here, this one has a sensor, a chamber sensor, and then you've got the um, Pizio spark wire, and then you've got your thermal pile. So this is the thermal pile right here, to give you an idea. So you disconnect all these and then reconnect them in reverse. Doesn't take very long, I don't think. I don't think we've been here in, I don't know, six, seven minutes. Well, I don't know if I'm going to end up replacing this water heater or if he's going to have his guy do it. So this customer uh, calls me all the time. And I actually only live like about a block away. So I can shoot over and troubleshoot. I've worked on a few of these here already. But this one just keeps coming back with code sevens, which happens. So I get a lot of people that uh, send me, um, you know, messages on my videos and stuff, telling me they got a code seven. There's nothing they can do. Uh, they're having trouble. And I always recommend getting a new gas valve if you can. Because then you kind of you know you got a new part going in, but sometimes that doesn't take care of it. We're not entirely sure what's going on. I suspected it was the uh, supply line because these supply lines are so skinny, but of course they've been working for years. So that's kind of a reach, but you know it's something to kind of focus your attention on and uh, work towards as a goal. And eliminate it really as a symptom.
minus this, minus this, of course. screws here. Okay, we got the screw for the valve, but that's all right. It's in there. Turn the gas back on. Nothing I found. Okay, the pilot line is lit. So we know we're getting gas. Kind of see it way in the back there. It's like a reflection in the mirror. I suppose it could be the motherboard here, but... I don't know. What are you going to do? Okay. Light came back. Blue. to revisit this water heater again that's it anyway thank you for watching appreciate it you can see the uh, new supply line here stretching over replacing this skinnier one and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video a little bit uh, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't you like videos like this and mostly just work on natural gas water heaters installation service calls tips and tricks stuff like that all right have a good evening thank you so much